Okay, there's already a review up for exam three or the final exam for Intro to Philosophy, but I'm going to put another uh, review up for those of you who can't attend to the Zoom's question. So I'll just go through these very quickly, uh, the true or false questions and maybe what I'm looking for on the short answers. So Descartes does not think one can prove the existence of God. I mean, I don't know what to say about that. He's got proofs to the existence of God. <laughs> it's pretty easy. The resulting nihilism of the modern scientific worldview lies in the eradication of teleology or purpose in favor of a mechanistic worldview without any value. Seems pretty straightforward um, because that's precisely what happens. Uh, Descartes' ontological argument uh, argues that the existence of God is possible to doubt without leading to contradiction and absurdity since God is an absolutely necessary being. I don't know what to say about that since Descartes' ontological argument uh, argues that it's impossible to doubt God's existence without contradiction um, since God is a being that cannot be thought not to be. In order to combat the possibility of the nihilism in the modern scientific worldview, Descartes, in the scientific spirit, employs methodological doubt so as to arrive at an absolutely unshakable and certain first principle of philosophy, which ipso facto necessarily must be indubitable. Seems pr pretty straightforward, that, because that's in fact what Descartes does. Uh, Aquinas, strictly speaking, does not think we can prove God's existence, since to prove means ultimately one can only what can be empirically proven or observed. Remember, proof is beyond simply empirical. We have mathematical proofs and logical proofs, and Aquinas does think we can prove God's existence. He's got five proofs, in fact. The moral argument, this is the easiest exam. The moral argument for God's existence argues that God must exist, since if God does not exist, then objective moral values and duties would not exist. However, since objective moral values and duties do exist, God therefore must exist in order to ground and explain them. Seems pretty straightforward. Descartes argues that since he is doubting, he must be thinking, and thus... He must exist in order to doubt and think, since his eye must precede all his thoughts and therefore doubts. So in other words, uh, it seems pretty straightforward. I think, therefore I am, is really uh, cogito ergo sum, dubito ergo sum. I'm doubting. Doubting is a form of thinking, and that the eye must precede all my thoughts, all my doubts. So pretty straightforward. Cogito ergo sum means that Descartes cannot prove that he exists. Remember, cogito ergo sum is Descartes' proof for the, his own existence, or the existence of the eye or the self. Not you. I only know that I exist, and you only know that you exist. You don't know that I exist, and I don't know that you exist, at least that far for Descartes. The cosmological argument for God's existence ultimately argues that there must be an explanation for the universe. Seems right, since the uh, cosmological argument hinges on the idea that the universe has to have an explanation, or why, or the principle of sufficient reason, or the principle of causality. In your opinion, what is the best argument for or against the existence of God? Please explain in detail what is meant, uh, what, what the argument is and why or why, not you, wh why or why not you agree or disagree. So I'm looking for the argument and what you agree and disagree with. Okay. Descartes thought science, <laughs> Descartes thought science was fake news. <laughs> uh, remember, Descartes is a scientist. The proof for the existence of God from mathematics argues that since mathematics works, the world must be mathematical, and thus mathematical objects, for example, numbers, must be real. But if numbers are real, then metaphysics is real, and thus the mind or reason must exist, which is the argument for theism in general. Um, seems pretty straightforward. Uh, I find that argument very convincing, the idea that if mathematics is real, well, where are the numbers? What are the numbers? This is Plato's point. Uh, seems to point to the metaphysical reality, and if there are numbers out there, it seems like there's a mind, and that's theism. Explain Descartes' argument for the existence of himself, and thus what he means by cogito ergo sum. That's pretty easy. Just watch that video. Uh, it's five minutes total, I think. Why should one study philosophy, in your opinion? What is its value, if any? Uh, here I'm looking for your own opinion, but please don't uh, BS me. Just uh, you know, try to incorporate what you learned in here and be honest. Um, and it's going to hard to it's going to it's going to be more difficult to be honest if you didn't really pay attention. But if you did, I'm interested in what you think because I you know I like reading your essays and they, they get a little boring if you read the answers all the time. But that's why I like to put in these what your opinions are uh, questions that, that that solicit your opinion because uh, it's more interesting for me. Okay, thanks.